Aquilius Equilibrium Lunar Earth Point Six U spacecraft is a nanosatellite of the six-unit CubeSat format that will measure the distribution of plasma that surrounds the Earth plasmosphere to help scientists understand the radiation environment in that region. It will also demonstrate low-thrust trajectory control techniques, such as multiple lunar flybys, within the Earth-Moon region using water steam as propellant. The spacecraft was designed and developed jointly by the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency (JAXA) and the University of Tokyo. Aquilius will be one of 13 CubeSats to be carried with the Orion M1 mission into a heliocentric orbit in cislunar space on the maiden flight of the Space Launch System, scheduled to launch in December 2019. Topic Overview. Mapping the plasmosphere around Earth may provide important insight for protecting both humans and electronics from radiation damage during long space journeys. It will also demonstrate low-thrust trajectory control techniques, such as multiple lunar flybys, within the Earth-Moon Lagrangian points EML. The mission will demonstrate that departing from EML can transfer to various orbits, such as Earth orbits, Moon orbits, and interplanetary orbits, with a tiny amount of orbital control. Aquilius features two deployable solar panels, and lithium batteries. The mission will be monitored from the Japanese Deep Space Antenna 64-meter antenna and 34-meter antenna with support from the DSN Deep Space Network of JPL. The principal investigator is Professor Hashimoto at the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency JAXA. The mission is named after the Little Horse constellation Aquilius. Propulsion The propulsion system, called Aquarius, employs eight water thrusters also used for attitude control orientation and momentum management. The spacecraft will carry 1.5 kg of water, and the complete propulsion system will occupy about 2.5 units out of the 6 units total spacecraft volume. The waste heat from the communication components is reused to assist in the heating of water vapor, which is heated to 100 degrees Celsius (212 degrees Fahrenheit) at the preheater. The Aquarius water thrusters produce a total of 4.0 millinewtons, a specific impulse (ISP) of 70 s, and consumes about 20 W power. Topic: <laughs> Scientific payload. Topic: Phoenix. Aquilius scientific payload features a small UV telescope named Phoenix plasmaspheric helium ion observation by enhanced new imager in extreme ultraviolet that will operate in the high energy extreme ultraviolet wavelengths. It consists of an entrance mirror of 60 mm diameter and a photon counting device. The reflectivity of the mirror is optimized for the emission line of helium ion, 30.4 nanometers wavelength, which is the relevant component of the Earth's plasmosphere. The plasmosphere is where various phenomena are caused by the electromagnetic disturbances by the solar wind. By flying far from the Earth, the Phoenix telescope will provide a global image of the Earth's plasmosphere and contribute to its spatial and temporal evolution. Topic. Delphinus Delphinus detection camera for lunar impact phenomena in 6U spacecraft, or DLP, for short is a camera connected to the Phoenix telescope to observe lunar impact flashes and near-Earth asteroids, as well as potential mini-moons while positioned at the Earth-Moon Lagrangian point L2 EML2 halo orbit. Theoretically, NEOs approaching Earth can be briefly caught within Earth's gravity well, and although in terms of orbital mechanics the object's movements is still centered around the Sun, to an observer on Earth it will move as if it is a moon of the planet. One example of such an object is 2006 RH-120, which orbited Earth between 2006 and 2007. If a mini-moon or NEO that can be rendezvoused by Aquilius is identified, the CubeSat will attempt a flyby. This payload occupies about 0.5 units out of the total 6 units volume. The results will contribute to the risk evaluation for future infrastructure or human activity on the lunar surface. <laughs> Cloth 
The instrument named cloth cis-lunar object detector within thermal insulation will detect and evaluate the meteoroid impact flux in the cislunar space by using dust detectors mounted on the exterior of the spacecraft. The goal of this instrument is to understand the size and spatial distribution of dust solid objects in the cislunar space. Cloth utilizes the spacecraft's multi-layer insulation MLI as a detector, thus realizing a dust counter suitable for mass-constrained CubeSats. It will be the first instrument to measure the dust environment of the Earth-Moon L2 Lagrangian point, and aims to uncover the dust's origin, as well as conducting risk assessment of the L2 point dust particles in anticipation of a future manned mission. Cloth will decipher L2 point dust likely originating from mini moons from sporadic dust by differences in their impact velocity. Topic: See also The 13 CubeSats flying in the Exploration Mission 1 lunar flashlight will map exposed water ice on the Moon Near-Earth Asteroid Scout by NASA is a solar sail spacecraft that will encounter a near-Earth asteroid. Biosentinel is an astrobiology mission. Skyfire by Lockheed Martin Lunar IceCube, by the Moorhead State University CubeSat for Solar Particles CUSP. Lunar Polar Hydrogen Mapper Luna Map, designed by the Arizona State University Aquilius, submitted by JAXA and the University of Tokyo OMOTENASHI, submitted by JAXA, is a lunar lander ArgoMoon, designed by ArgoTech and coordinated by Italian Space Agency Cislunar Explorers, Cornell University, Ithaca, New York Earth Escape Explorer, CUE3, University of Colorado Boulder Team Miles, by Fluid and Reason LLC, Florida CubeSat and Microsatellite Projects of Isolodoyoshi 3 Hodoyoshi 4 Procyon TRICOM-1R Nano Jasmine ISSL Mars Mission <laughs>